one through five. Number one, from the problem to the left, John realizes that his map is far too small. He decides to make his map five times as large. What would be the new scale to the larger map? Okay, what we took yesterday is it was only one inch to 125 feet. So if we want it five times, you're going to times both the top and the bottom by five. So be five inches is so that would be your five times. Um, actually, you know what? I got to use the fact I did that wrong. He just wants this. He just wants his map, the scale, to be larger. So he's going to keep this the same. So it should be five inches is 125 feet. Because all he's doing is changing the scale. Then I reduce by five. And it's 126. So every one inch is now 25 feet. So if you were guys like, were like me at first when I just thought of it, I'm, you would have to do the top and the bottom. But no, all I'm changing is my Number two, four over x plus nine equals nine over x plus five. You must do the cross product. So I have four times x plus five equals nine times x plus nine. So then I do the distributive property, four times four x, x is four. Yeah. 4x and 4 times 5 is plus 20 equals 9 times x is 9x, nine, 9 times 9 is 81. Then we draw our line and I'm going to combine my x's. I think I'm going to move this x over here so I don't have to deal with um, negative. negative. Yeah. So I'm going to have a negative 4x minus 4x. So then I have 20 equals 5x plus 81. Then I'm going to box up my 5x, subtract 81 from both sides. So 1 is positive and 1 is negative, so I would do 81 minus 20 is 61. And that is negative. Negative 61 equals 5x. Then I divide by 5 on both sides. When I put it 61 divided by 5, you get negative 12.2. Or you could say 12 and 1 fifth. Is there a slide out there? Why do you just do two first? For which one? You're adding the uh, additive inverse. So you're adding, um, I'm adding a negative, and when I add a negative, you subtract it. All right, number three.
if one of the angles is 25, doesn't the other one have to be 25? Yeah, this one's also 25. So 25 plus 25 is 50, and then I take 180 minus 50, which is 130. So it could be 25 plus 25 plus 130, or I could have done 180 minus only one angle is 25, so that is 155, and then I would have to divide that by 2. Divide that by 2, because they have to be the same, and the other me measurements would be 77.5 77.5 number four name the shape of the cross section in the area below so it's this is what is shaded right in here what is that shape square square, square. the cylinder is seven inches tall and has a volume of 63 high inches cubed what is the area of the cross section so first, I need to say volume equals pi r squared times the height. I know the volume is 63 pi. Do I know the radius? Do I know the radius? No, I don't. So that would be r squared. But do I know the height? Yes, yeah. it's seven. So like we did earlier this week, because the pi is here, I want to get rid of, on this side, the pi and the seven. They cancel each other out, and I divide this side by seven and pi. The pi cancel each other out. So what's 63 divided by seven? Nine. So nine equals r squared. So then, how do I get the squared part off? You do the square root. So 3 equals my radius. But if I'm trying to find this cross section, I don't need the radius. I actually need the diameter, the whole thing. So what is 3 plus 3? Three? So the diameter is 6. So to find the area, it would be 6 times 7. So 6 times 7 is 42 inches squared. The dimensions of a box are 8 by 3 by 2. What is the volume? Volume equals length times width times height. So I just plug in my numbers. Eight times three times two. Eight times, I'm gonna do three times two, which is six, so eight times six is 48 centimeters cubed. Seven, said classify the angles. So if one angle is 34, and the other one is 146, what, what they're asking us to do is combine them together. So I'm going to combine 146 plus 34. It's 180 degrees. So if they combine and make 180 degrees, what was that definition that we gave all this week? What is it? What am I spelling out? Supplementary. So they, to classify them, they are supplementary angles. angle O 
n g, so that's a 91. So 8 is, oops, can't see that. Angle O N G, or you can say it's angle G N O. And then you have to go W N G for the other 90 degrees. So angle W N G or angle G N O. Is that all? Yep. So we're going to, we're still recording and we'll go right into the. Can you go back to that? Yeah. Down. Do you need that still? Yeah. Oh, you don't have a copy of it? I do. You need a copy of it? Yes, please. 